to show you guys something important because uh, in all my videos I have this really cool black dock and I never really showed you guys how to get it. Um, so when it's, someone asked me how do you change your dock to this black color or how do you just change it in general. So there are videos on YouTube that teach you how to do this but I'm just going to show you guys my way and what I, how I change my dock color and the exact dock that I use. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to need is a program called Docker. A very useful program. I use it a lot. Change doc and stuff. So what you do is you go to Styles and Colors in the first section. Once you download it, you can download it in the description link or in MacUpdate.com or Docker.com. I think I'm not sure if that's a website, but um, I don't know. You guys can just check. So um, what it should look like by default. Let me go ahead and put it to default really quick. As you can see, I have this default dock, how it usually originally looks. But personally, I hate this color of the dock because it just doesn't match with anything. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is how to change it to the one I have. I'll have a download link in the description of the dock that I use. Um, other than that, you could go to, to a website called Leopard Docs. .com. And then you can go down to Browse All Docs. This is a really good website. It has a lot. I, um, everything I have online is found in this website. And you can download the docs from here as well. This is another place to download it. There's a bunch of cool docs up there. Check it out. The link will be in the description below. The next um, thing. So once you have my doc downloaded, you should have a folder. Let me go ahead and get it out. That looks like this. So if you open it up, you'll see a prep line. Well, you don't need this. I'm delete that. So, okay. So this, 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 and you have the separator. And this. That's the dot color. This is the dot color also. This is also a dot color, and this is also a dot color. Different sizes. It's the front line. Which is that little white line in the front. And these are backups. I don't know why I have backups. I never made this. This is like. Oh, this is the original doc? Okay, you don't need this. I'll delete that. Go ahead and delete that. Okay, so. Once you have all of these, when I'll have this folder um, download on Mega Upload or something. So you guys can go and download this on Mega Upload. Um, I did not make these docs, by the way. Someone else made these. Um, I don't know exactly who made it, but it's on the website. You can check it out. They're really good at making docs, I think. Really awesome doc. Thank you very much for making it, whoever you did. So um, once you have this, you can go ahead and close it. Put it on your desktop or anywhere. And you have to make sure this click over here is called 3D. You can turn this on if you want. Um, it all it does is it hides. Whenever you hide an application, it makes it like sort of see-through. So everything else should be on Apple default, or it should be... I'll keep current settings, or I don't know what, it should be on some default, um, same setting for all of them. So, the way to change your color is you go over here to whatever one you want to do first, I'll start off with Indicator. Which I'll go ahead and start off with the 3D dock style. This is the actual dock color. So you go over here, you go to Custom Images, and then you can go to wherever you have your dock saved. You can be inside Pictures, you can be in Downloads, mine is inside Desktop. So I just click on the folder. That's it. Click on the folder, and then once you click on the folder, you push select, and then you push apply. But let's first do the rest. So the separator style. What kind of separator do you want? The separator is this. This little thing over here. So the separator I want is inside the folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go in the folder. Pushing custom images, and you just click on the folder again. Push select. Indicator style. I like the Apple default, but I don't like the little reflection under it, so I'll put Apple with no reflection. There's also um, some presets, you can change plain, there's no background, default style, a couple other things. So that's about it for the settings for dock, you can always change it to 2D dock style if you want to, but I'm not a fan of that, so yeah. So once you're done choosing what you want with your folder, push apply, and you should get an empty window that sort of looks like this. Just push OK first, and then the one that you really want will come up with your name. And then you can type in your password, push Enter. If you don't have a password, just push Enter. 
and this thing will show up if you enter again. And then, as you can see, your dock changed. That's about it. So have fun changing your dock, download a different kind, see which one you like the most, and um, tell me anything else you guys like for a video. Goodbye.